welcome back. This is uh, part 2.5 of the uh, Celestron uh, CPC 1100 HD overview video. Um, we're going to be going over the accessories that came with the telescope. Let's see. First we'll go ahead and look at the, uh, the star diagonal. It has a two inch star diagonal. Um, it has a one and a quarter inch eyepiece adapter here. I'll show you that. Just your basic, uh, your standard uh, prism mirror, two inch diagonal. And then this screws onto the end of the telescope. I probably will eventually replace this with a dielectric diagonal. It has a higher reflectivity, um, but this isn't bad. This this will work just fine for the time being. Oh, and this also came with the uh, diagonal. When I first looked at it, I couldn't really figure out what it was for. Oh, see, that's why it's important to look at instructions, right? Um, basically, this is just a uh, a tube adapter for this diagonal. If you're using this for a uh, a refractor instead of an SCT. Basically you'll remove this part, the retaining ring, away from the uh, diagonal and you'll screw this on and then it'll slide into the, the back of the uh, refractor and you'll tighten it down with some set screws. Um, so I probably won't be having any need for this. I don't have a, a refractor that would uh, fit this. So, so that's that. And then we have a one and a quarter inch um, format uh, visual back. That's for using your uh, one and a quarter inch accessories like uh, your eyepieces. And if you have a one and a quarter inch uh, star diagonal, you can use that with it. So I probably won't be getting any use out of this either, uh, simply because the uh, diagonal can support uh, one and a quarter inch eyepieces. Next, we have a uh, power cable. I think it's about 12 foot. It's got a 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, jack on one end, and then we have this, the uh, input jack. Um, this one's a little bit different than the one the last telescope came with. It actually has a, a locking ring that screws on to the input jack on the telescope to keep it uh, tightened down from pulling out. Um, so that, that's pretty nice. And then here we have an. Uh, RS-232 uh, DB9 connector. Um, this is for uh, attaching, or say hooking up your computer to the telescope to uh, control it with the next remote software that you saw in the last video. Um, this part here will uh, go into the back of the hand controller this part here will go into your computer. Unfortunately, most uh, modern laptops do not have this type of uh, connector on it, so I'm going to have to get a USB um, like a USB adapter in order to use this. So I'll probably have that on order here soon. And there's this bad boy here. It comes with a really nice 2-inch eyepiece. It's a 23 millimeter. Uh, luminous uh, eyepiece, uh, 82 degree field of view. That is absolutely huge. I mean, I've never used a two-inch eyepiece before. I've never even seen one. So this is uh, quite interesting. I have a regular uh, one and a quarter inch format eyepiece. You can see the size difference, and this thing is absolutely huge. Um, it comes with a retractable eye cup, which I'll show you. By spinning this uh, black rubber ring. There we go. And you can see there. The eye cup's extended. Uh, very nice. I had a chance to use it uh, last night. And uh, it's definitely an experience. Um... Let's see. The case, the case, you know, didn't come with the telescope. I actually bought this at Walmart. I think I paid like 14 bucks for it. And uh, it's basically just to keep all this stuff nice and out the way and locked up. You know, keep the kitties from 
getting a hold of it. And curious cats. And then we have the uh, hand controller. And this is the one that came with it, the Nexstar Plus. Now this is the uh, the older model, the one that came with my uh, my 10-inch uh, newt. You can see there's definitely some differences. Uh, some of the buttons are not the same. Instead of rate, now you have motor speed. You have the Celeste Strong logo uh, button, object info. Uh, there's a lot of differences. Uh, basically, in that paperwork, let's see if I can find it real fast. It outlines some of the differences between the original and the new Next Star. Um, basically says uh, there's a lot of uh, room for expansion um, when they release more advanced feature features and functions they'll be added in later firmware updates so we'll see how that goes but uh, it's just as easy to use as the original don't let that uh, frighten you if you're thinking about getting a new uh, telescope from Celestial it's still very intuitive and uh, easy to use um, I think that about does it for the accessories. Now, of course, this didn't come with the telescope either, but you're going to need a power supply. And I just use a uh, instant power, a uh, portable power pack, uh, basically just a battery, jump start battery with a 9 volt cigarette lighter input. And this one even has a, uh, a USB uh, port on it. So you can uh, maybe run a dew heater or something like that if it's got a a USB style plug, what have you. Alright, so that about does it for uh, this video. Uh, the next one will be about the telescope itself.